So I don't see any evidence from Jesus, the New Testament writers, or the Old Testament writers about a divine mother. Do you think such a person exists? Absolutely, 100%. Why? Because I'm a girl, and if God's a guy, where did I come from? What are your thoughts on the idea of there being a divine mother? What do you mean by divine mother? Um, the idea that God has a wife and a counterpart that is female. I would ask people, what evidence is there for that? I haven't seen any evidence for that. I haven't seen any evidence of that from the scriptures. I, I do know that God made, made both men and women in his image. Okay, now image isn't a physical thing. It means that we're God's representatives here on earth. Okay, we have mind, emotion, and will, and that we know, we feel, we want, we can make moral choices, and we can be his ambassadors. But I haven't seen any evidence in Christianity, certainly, and I think Christianity is true because God exists and Jesus rose from the dead. And you might say, well, how does that show that Christianity is true? Because if Jesus rose from the dead, then he's God, and whatever God teaches is true. Jesus taught the entire Old Testament is the word of God, and he promised the New Testament. Because I just have a personal policy. If somebody rises from the dead, I just trust whatever the guy says. Okay? <laughs> so I don't see any evidence from Jesus, the New Testament writers, or the Old Testament writers about a divine mother. Okay. All right. Do you think such a person exists? Absolutely, 100%. Why? Because I'm a girl. And if God's a guy, where did I come from? Well, because God is so powerful, he can create both sexes. You don't, he, there doesn't need, God doesn't have genitalia. He's just, he's just called a father because he has fatherly qualities. He's a protector. He's a creator. He's a provider. So he just decided on a whim to make reproductive systems the necessity of male and female? Yes, male and female. Why? Because we are imaging God here, and we are creating as imagers, not in the same way God creates, because God creates just from his power. We create by procreating with someone of the opposite so sex. So you're saying the power that God uses to create is different than the power we use to create? Oh, yes. God is wholly different than us. We're, we're just, we're, we're, we're just, no, we, we have a line, sir. You can get in line if you like. We are um, in a situation where, uh, where was I going with this? Um, God created males and females so we could create and be imagers of God. We could create offspring. And that's what we're supposed to do as imagers. But God himself is an immaterial being. He doesn't have genitalia. And one way we know this, other than the scriptures, is just think about uh, any being that is created like us. We're composed, right? We have parts. And if we're composed, somebody must have composed us. But you can't go on an infinite regress of composers. At some point, you're going to get back to an uncomposed composer that composed everything else. And that's who we are. We are composed but God is uncomposed. He doesn't have parts. He's immaterial, spaceless, timeless, powerful. All those attributes we talked about before. If that's really true, would you be a Christian? I am a Christian, but I don't believe that. Well, it's kind of an essential of the faith to believe who God is. Well, that's I what guess, we're here to well, do. Dave, we're here to know who God is. I'm not a Christian is. then. What's that? I guess I'm not a Christian then. Oh, well. If it were true, would you be a Christian? I guess if you're defining something that is true, that is Christian, if it was true, then I'd be a Christian. Well, this is one seminar, right? There's a lot more to read, a lot more to study. Are you a student here? No. Are you local? Could yes. you Could you come to the Ratio Christi and learn more, the event on Tuesday nights? I could, but I have karate that night, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could still. Get together with these people and learn. You don't have to meet Tuesday. You can meet other times with them. Sure. Just pursue the truth. Follow the evidence where it leads. That makes sense, right? Okay. All right. Thank you, Christy.
God bless you.